Assalamualaikum and have a good day everyone. Uh, we are from group 40, section 02P. My name is Aifa Alifa, EC18105. Uh, and my group members is Nur Fahani, EC18104. And Atir Afiki, EC18161. Okay, uh, for our group, we are making a safe box uh, by unlock unlocking it using RFID so that we can stop our valuable team to prevent uh, it from the thief. So for my part, I will present about policy simulation. As you know, uh, in the hardware part, we use RFID as the key to open the lock of safe box. But in this simulation, we don't have RFID. We replace it with virtual terminal by inserting the correct ID tag to access it. As you can see here, this is a um, vibration sensor. So the vibration sensor uh, is to detect vibration as we can imagine when someone try to open the box using force. So when it is detect the vibration, the logic become one. And then, we run it. Then the LCD will display a um, warning. Uh, it will, the buzzer will trigger and give sound for a long time. LED is blinking to give alert uh, for people at surrounding. Uh, then LCD will display uh, the owner's name and give uh, an instruction to place the RFID card. Uh, in this simulation, we just put uh, A button, we just press A button uh, as a code, as a true code to access this box. Uh, LCD display uh, dot unlock and uh, the motor will rotate to open the door. To lock uh, this safe box again, just take uh, the RFID card or uh, insert, the, insert the A. The LCD will display door lock and motor is rotated to lock the door again. Now we move for wrong ID code which is uh, if we tap using wrong ID card. But in this we just uh, put another code, different code. And the LCD will display uh, please try again. Uh, but the motor is not rotated means that the door is not open. Um, the buzzer will 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 sound, and the LED will blinking two times. Okay, continue with Hanipat, which is uh, coding Arduino. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Nofar Hani binti Muhammad Saiti, ID EC one eight one zero four. Okay, now I will continue with the coding for this project. So in this project, uh, we will have two coding, one for produce and another one for hardware okay so in this uh, coding for the produce so I'll display, uh, I insert the library for the LCD I2C and the library for the servo motor and I also insert the pin every pin for the servo motor uh, the vibration uh, sensor LED and buzzer so okay for the string ID uh, this string ID is is a string to enter the ID in the void setup it will initialize the LCD and it will display the owner safe box and it say place the card here okay so here I mentioning the serial begin uh, 9300 and the pin mode for the vibration sensor LED and buzzer and also the servo attached uh, of the servo motor here and the and the digital right buzzer is the initial state of the buzzer okay for the loop uh, void loop okay for the vibration uh, in this uh, void vibration uh, this vibration is to detect any force as if someone want to open the safety box using force okay if uh, the vibration sensor detect any force so the value become one so when the value become one it will uh, the LCD will display the warning sign and the buzzer and the LED will be triggered for and it will repeat uh, for five times if there is no force so the LED will be low and the buzzer will, will not turn on and then it will go back to the setup again okay 
and then for the UID tag, okay. So when we insert the right ID tag, which is I mentioned it A. So A, uh, for example, A is the is our right ID card, which is one A four C five A I one uh, A. So when we uh, when we first touch it. So it will uh, display the UID tag at the serial begin and uh, uh, and it will say try access and the servo motor will turn 180 degrees so it will open the door and the LCD will display the door unlock. So when we touch it again and insert again our right ID number, the ID tag, uh, it will uh, the motor will rotate 90 degree. Uh, so and the door will, will lock and the LCD also display the door is locked. Uh, if we insert the wrong UID tag, for example F73B1A and B3, it will display access denied at the serial print and the LCD will display the please try again and the buzzer and the LED will trigger uh, and repeat it for two times and it will go back to the setup. Now I will continue with the coding for the hardware. So this coding is still the same as the Protus one but it's a, just a bit different. So the difference uh, is at the uh, library for the RFID card. So for the void setup it's still the same. It will display the on uh, safe box. And here we mentioned the MFRC522 and then in this loop it will mention this uh, MFRC 52 to detect the card and detect the hex number of the ID card. So if we touch the right number or we touch the right card, so the first touch it will uh, unlock the door and when we touch it again, it will lock the door. And if we touch it with the wrong card or the wrong UID tag, it will display please try again and access denied and the buzzer and LED will be triggered and will repeat it for two times and, and then it will go back to the setup okay for the void vibration it's still the same so when it detect any vibration any force uh, so the value become one so the LCD will display the warning sign and the buzzer, buzzer and LED will uh, trigger and then it go back to the setup. That's all from me. Thank you. Hi, Assalamualaikum. My name is Amartya Vicky. My ID number is EC1161. Today I will present about uh, the safe box of our group. So, firstly, yeah, we got two keys here for example. So, uh, the, the LCD asks us to place the card here. So, this one is a wrong card. This one is the valid card. So, the door is unlocked. So, we can open the door. If you want to lock back, just wait. Yeah. So the door is locked back. So uh, after that, it's about. So the last one is about the. <coughs> vibration sensor if any damage have been put into this box for example see it show the warning sign and the buzzer will trigger that's all for me thank you